What's up everyone? This is Microsoft Flight Simulator 10. Uh, this is basically at Las Vegas. We're on a helipad about to take off from McCarran's airport, which is right next to the strip. Uh, I'm going to take off and do a little quick tour of the uh, Las Vegas strip. It's one of the things I loved doing back in the day. Uh, just go around the world and do like sightseeing um, as if I was traveling there, as if you know I had booked a uh, expensive helicopter tour. Uh, obviously, I couldn't afford that. I still can't afford that. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna go really relive that memory and get excited and really pumped for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which hopefully this whole experience is gonna be a lot better because, as you can see, uh, even though back in the day they did. Um, what they're doing now with you know uh, loading in satellite images as the terrain uh, you can see they tried to do that here as well but obviously it's very low res textures and it's obviously not streaming in uh, from Bing Maps uh, so you know that's gonna be really cool in the new new game I'm really excited to see the terrain just reflect real world uh, textures and real world you know have the textures be based on real world images but anyways the first hotel we'll see on the left is Mandalay Bay uh, as you can see here this is the the hotel that you know had that shooting uh, occur from over there on the top uh, you know the guy the gunman was there shooting across um, to where the concert was in this parking lot and like I guess a field area um, so that that so far, it's uh, accurately representing the the, the land around uh, Las Vegas around this area. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I see a uh, Mandalay Bay sign with uh, what looks like a ba an old boxing um, boxing fight. Let's see. Let's get a little closer and see. Lewis versus Tua. That was a real fight. Um, so that's interesting to see that they uh, put that in there. I don't know if they just took some images and slapped them on or they knowingly put that in there. I haven't seen the fight. Maybe it was pretty, pretty good. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. Uh, so up next we have the Luxor Hotel. This is the big pyramid. Uh, with the light going off into the sky from the very top. And then after that is the Excalibur, which is right there. So as you can see, it's actually not bad representation. I've been to Las Vegas recently and um, that's, that's, that's pretty pretty close to what it looked like um, obviously this is from way back uh, and and the you know maybe that's more what it looked like back in the day but more or less it looked like that I, I, I just remember it being a little bit different a little more decorations and all that anyway so this is New York New York um, pretty obvious as you can you know you can tell that that's the Empire State Building. Here's the Statue of Liber Liberty. Um, not a great model of it, but you can tell that it's, you know, you can tell what it is. Let's just make our way down a, a Las Vegas Boulevard. We'll just check out the left side, as I said. Uh, so that's the Monte Carlo. I think, according to my map, the Aria should have been in between the Monte Carlo and um, the New York, New York Hotel and Casino. And over here on the left, we don't see anything. Maybe just some random buildings. Uh, that over there, you would have had the Cosmopolitan uh, right before the Bellagio here. The Bellagio is here. They've got the famous, you know, fountains here. The Bellagio, that's one of my favorite hotels. That's pretty accurate. Uh, up next, that's the Caesar's Palace, I can tell, uh, from the little sign up top. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
Um, then we have the Mirage. I think something. Let's see. Let me check my map. A Rio Hotel and Casino should have been in between the Mirage and the Bellagio. So that was missing. Uh, then we have Treasure Island over here. Pretty low res picture of a skull and okay not bad it's there that's cool we'll, we'll look at the right side of the hotel on our way back uh, I see stardust I, I don't see that on my map I don't recall a stardust when I went to Las Vegas so maybe that's just uh, a hotel that you know has gone bankrupt since then uh, since the game this game was released here's Circus Circus uh, that's still around pretty sure um, my map says it's there as well so that's that's pretty cool that's accurate and then finally here we'll just look at the stratosphere this is pretty famous didn't need the map to tell me what this was um, yeah, tallest building in uh, in Vegas. Looks like it's kind of see-through. That's kind of weird. There's supposed to be a roller coaster at the very top. I think that's what those red squiggly lines are. But uh, yeah, and it's see-through, which is weird. But uh, it's there, so... Yeah, that's okay. That's really weird that it's see-through. Anyway. All right, so on this side, I see the... What is that? X. Um, my map says that should be the Encore. Maybe. Maybe that's the Encore. I'm not sure. And then it's the Win Hotel, which is coming up. You can see the... Um, Luxor light a little bit clearer from back here. Let's see how high that goes. Oh, yeah, that's pretty high up. That's pretty high up. So, yeah, Wind Hotel. What's up next? The Plazo? I don't see the... I don't see anything called Plazo. Uh, I think this here is the, the Venetian. Italy themed um, hotel and casino. Oh, I didn't forgot to mention there's Danny Gans at the Mirage. That's kind of cool. Uh, Harrah's. Harrah's on the left. Uh, we should have seen Casino Royale. I didn't see that. Um, the link or what is it? L I N Q. I don't see that. I see flamingo. So we went from the Venetian to some random buildings, and then uh, we see the flamingo, which is across the street from Caesar's Palace. So that's that's pretty accurate. Uh, then we have Bailey's. There's something wrong with these textures. These are see-through buildings. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but that's all right. Bellagio, uh, sorry, Bailey's has George Carlin and Dennis Blair. Not too familiar with Dennis Blair, but I do know uh, George Carlin, one of, one of the best comedians. There's a lot of good stuff on YouTube I'm sure you can find. Uh, he's passed away, but, you know, really, really cool... Uh, comedian uh, you can see there's the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas uh, Paris this thing says Paris okay and here's Aladdin I don't know which hotels these are um, I guess Paris Las Vegas and this is like maybe the Hard Rock or Planet Hollywood that's what's on the left side there before we get to the MGM Grand. Um, so may maybe like the Aladdin really is Planet Hollywood and then the Paris is, you know, Paris, Las Vegas. Um, 
Yeah, okay. Oh, one thing I forgot to... Uh, I think we just glossed over. I remember there ought to be a little volcano next to the Mirage, which I see right there. It's not erupting, but if you've seen, you know, Las Vegas, there's a famous volcano that erupts. Yeah, there it is. Uh, it's not erupting. Maybe you need to be at night. This is dusk. Maybe you need to be at night to be able to see it erupt. Let's get some altitude here and not hit this hotel. Anyways, we'll whip back around. Back to where we were. I think we left off at the, the MGM, which is right over there in the distance. Yeah, MGM, pretty famous. It's on almost any movie that is set in Las Vegas. Very accurate, you know, that it's got that green glow. Uh, the shape looks right, very recognizable. And then here is the Tropicana. So uh, that is the Las Vegas Strip. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All those years uh, back, you know, if you haven't been to Vegas, obviously, this this does a pretty decent job of like showing you what you know what's in the strip at least you know from like a quick overview you know back in the day you didn't have Google Street View uh, you didn't have Google Earth this was really the Google Earth and Street View uh, for me at least because uh, you know I could go around the world go to famous landmarks and go check it out uh, without actually getting there and, if, and what was cool is I, I would actually go and visit and recognize and, and understand what things were where they were um, all that kind of stuff so that's that's really cool that we, you know you could do that in the game back in the day and especially now with, with the new game coming out I'm sure you can do that even better um, so really excited I'll probably when that game comes out do the same thing go to go to the strip and check it out go to other places and check it out all that good stuff so let's oh, let's kind of a rough landing but anyways that was the Las Vegas strip thanks for watching